Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic Kid Nikki. Kid Nikki, also known as the wonderful Yanchamaru in Japan, is an action side scroller that was developed by Irem in 1986. In this game, you play as the radical ninja Nikki who sets out to rescue his girlfriend Margo from the evil stone wizard. Armed with your spinning sword, you have to fight your way through seven perilous stages. Each stage is filled with rival ninjas, mythical monsters, and evil animals. It wouldn't be a game without your typical boss, and they're as typical as you can get. A boss with an impenetrable defense with an exploitable weak spot. This game can get frustrating at times, but it is beatable. Every board has a mid-stage checkpoint, so when you die, you start off at the beginning of the section you died in, so not to turn you off completely like making you start at the beginning. If you're lucky, you can get a bell. The silver bell allows you to shoot a projectile when you swing your sword, and the gold bell creates a force field, both lasting for a limited time. Usually these bells are located at tricky or perilous spots, so usually I just ignore them, unless I'm feeling a little brave. When a game gets carted overseas, it undergoes a few changes. This is usually done for marketing, cultural, or political reasons. Some changes are understandable, but some are just plain silly and unnecessary. Kid Nikki did go through some changes for its worldwide release. For example, in the Japanese version of the game, Yachimaru's hair is neat with a top knot, otherwise known as a chonmage. There are also changes done to the enemy sprites and some changes to the text. The original Japanese version also sent you back to the beginning of the stage when you died, unlike the international version where you begin from a mid-stage checkpoint as mentioned earlier. Data East released ports for the NES, Commodore 64, and the Apple II. I remember Kid Nicky from the NES port, but I never once ran into this game in the arcade. Or maybe I did, I just don't remember it. I always thought Kid Nicky looked good for an NES port, so how different could it look from the original arcade? Okay, it's a little different. Fun fact, all home ports of the game showed arcade screenshots on the back of their packages rather than the actual game footage. Kid Nicky is a fun side-scroller and it's a pretty classic arcade game. So if you run into this game on MAME or the Switch's arcade archives, give the game a shot and let me know what you think.